G'day frothers. So, have you ever wondered how a rotary hammer hammering mechanism actually works? Well, here are all the parts from one. Uh, it's from a drill I'm attempting to restore right now. <laughs> a uh, Ramset DD526. So, exactly, so it's basically a Bosch tool, um, but made in Germany, comes in orange uh, in the Ramset case. And this is a pretty standard setup that we have here. So, uh, this part here is a, like a gearbox housing, which kind of holds it all together. We've got a piston, we've got a swing bearing, we've got a couple of gears, hammer part, we've got a striker part or an anvil part. Uh, and this is the tool holder, and this is the chuck stuff over here. So I'll just quickly kind of put it together and uh, hopefully we'll get a good look at how it works uh, during that process. But integral to the whole thing, to the mechanism, uh, is turning the rotation of the motor. So that's the motor rotor right there. That thing rotates. So how does that turn into hammering? Well, with this awesome little thing here. So that is a swing bearing. So you can see it's, uh, it's a wobbly sort of structure and basically that is a ball bearing you can see the balls in there beautiful but the bearing race like the slot where they run in is actually cut at an angle on this little globe in here so if you think like an orange instead of cutting an orange in half uh, along the equator you cut it at an angle and then that actually uh, becomes your bearing race where the balls run in there in there and as this thing rotates, that translates this rotary motion into a linear motion. So I guess that would be a cam in that case. That's what cams do, right? So there you go. And this arm, this swing arm here, that just ends up going back and forth. And that is the source of the actual hammering so, you know, different styles of rotary hammers have uh, slightly different mechanisms. Um, there is one that has a, like a, a yoke, so it's kind of a, a big, more of an A-frame piece that does that uh, instead of just this swing arm. Uh, but this is probably the most common uh, method because uh, it's small, uh, it's pretty compact, and uh, does the job. Now, what the roller bearing, uh, swing bearing is actually attached to is this piston. And that actually feels like it's aluminium for uh, maybe heat conduction or just to reduce the mass of the part as it you know reciprocates it has less inertia um, so piston goes on there using these pins and a couple of washers and that is the main part of your hammer mechanism so this piston attaches to that sorry it's like this this piston attaches to that swing arm So I'll just uh, whack this back in where it lives. We've got that little gear in there, the motor. So that's the rotor of the motor. Yes, this drill was actually working, believe it or not. Sits in there and turns that. And as this works, a little swing bearing drives the piston back and forth. Very nice. So inside this piston is actually another piston. So this is the actual hammer block in here. And that is a soft connection. Uh, and we'll see why in a second. But basically, that just sort of sits in there with air pressure. Because it's, it's sort of sealed up. There is a little slot so you can actually pull it out. A little hole there. So it's not a complete vacuum inside there. But basically, once it gets into there, that little seal gets past that little hole there. That's a little blind ending chamber inside there. And that is your actual pneumatic part of the pneumatic uh, hammer. <clears throat> so, this, so this part here is the actual tool holder that the drill bit goes into. So if you ever look in the back of your chuck, you should see oh, that, that little guy there. So that is the striker pin slash anvil. I mean, it's a hammer and an anvil really, because it hits this but then it's also hit by that other part. So uh, I just like calling that the striker pin because that's what the actual part is called if you have to, if you have to find a new one. Uh, so there you go. This lives inside here. Held in, in this case, with a couple little pins. 
So drill bit held inside there. And then this, uh, and then this is where the piston ends up. So the piston and the little pneumatic hammer part there, that ends up inside there like that. And so that's the mechanism. That's the whole mechanism for the hammering. So that hits that, which then hits that. So why have this whole three part kind of hammering mechanism here? Uh, what, what, what's the deal there? Imagine if you didn't have this impact uh, absorption here, it, like the, the actual pneumatic thing. Imagine if it was just a mechanical hammer and not an, like a pneumatic hammer. Um, basically, it had just, it had fuck you up. I mean, have you ever, <laughs> imagine driving a car with no suspension, you know, the, just the impact, every single, single impact would just wear on these parts like crazy. It would shock the user and it would basically destroy the drill in no time. So this, this thing here is a really nice, simple shock absorption. And it means you also don't have a spring, which is going to wear down eventually either. Uh, meanwhile, this part that actually hits the drill, so this is going to be a much harder impact than that, that impact that happens between those two parts. This is now hitting this, which is hitting concrete or rock or whatever. And so that is no shock absorption going back here in this connection. And that, after its whole lifetime of millions and millions of impacts, has just been destroyed. And that's why, well, part of the reason why uh, this particular drill needed to be fixed. Because, you know, what is it, Newton's second law? Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, uh, the reaction from the concrete is going to be a lot harder hitting that way than the reaction from the air. So. All right, so I'll just uh, whack a chisel in the tool holder there. So in the back of this lives our striker pin and that hits that and vice versa. So that'll be rebounding when it uh, hits the material. And that's how she goes. Look at that. Beautiful. Anyway, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Oh. 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 Woo. She's coming apart. And that is how the hammer, hammer mechanism works. Yeah. Love it. Scratches later.